Hello and welcome back. Um, ba -dum -bum. I still haven't started to edit or re-edit, I should say, the uh, war video. I will. I really will do it like over the next couple of days, but it's actually not as good as I wanted it to be anyway. Um, and I've been really busy building, having fun building. So this is uh, Jake Wolf's mobile lab. It's pretty crazy, but yeah, I really enjoy building it. It was nice to build it. Um, it's got some cool features. I really forgot, like last video, I, well last two videos, I took my mouse out, so it was hidden. And because usually, like lately, I haven't really been pointing and saying this is this and blah blah. And then, yeah, last video when I was actually pointing at things, I just I realised after I'd rendered and edited the videos that, yeah, I kind of need it, even though my mouse isn't on this again. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I've got hydraulic steel legs here um, for when it wants to be just a lab <laughs> and not moving. They're kind of irrelevant because I can put the brakes on but it just looks cool like raising it up off the ground because this extends and the wheels come off the ground and then it's like a stationary base. But yeah I'm gonna call it, it's like a research lab I guess I don't know. He can use it for whatever he wants but because I feel bad um, he kept asking for a tank and everything last for the Minmus thing and I did build him one but I never really got around to using it because it kind of got blown up so here you go Jake I feel bad so I'm gonna make you priority and you did comment first on the last couple of videos so this is my repayment and you better have liked both the videos <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna take this away from you but yeah anyway uh, it can fit it's 16 or 18 kerbals got lights and all the all the fancy stuff I'm not really going to talk about it that much because I'll just go get it deployed um, parachute so I remembered from my past and I've done a few tests on Kerbin it's good to have different arrangements so different parachutes deploy and open at different altitudes so it doesn't rip itself apart so up here this yellow and black stripey thing is the big parachute then I've got these drogues that open around 2500 meters up <coughs> which pretty much act as the the brake like an air brake and then I've got these little radial ones on the edge here and we've got some nice bay windows and some observation domes so I'm actually gonna oh yeah and we've got the rovers too so I'm going to send two guys, obviously Jake Wolf's going to be in here and I've got the obligatory, obligatory, obligatory laser cannon just for defence because there may be a war at some point I do want to, like I said in the video, two videos ago maybe I want to build up the whole Kerbal system colonise it all and have factions and all that in the end that's the end game and then some massive war but I'll plan it better next time so yeah this is all ready to go I haven't actually tested this, it's got a nuclear engine I'm hoping, I know that I'll get up and we'll have quite a bit of fuel in here to do most of the transfer across um, I possibly will be leaving some debris unless I can clear it all with the laser but I'm not too fussed about that I just don't want to add loads more rocket parts that I don't need basically I think this should be sufficient to get us there yeah, I'm going to send two guys over in this and I'm also going to launch the atmosphere miner. So what I'll be doing for the next couple of videos until I've finished editing the war one is uh, I'll deploy and launch two things per episode. So I need to keep my talking down and just get going. We've got solar panels as well and all that. It's actually really cool. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll launch and... I'll see you when we're deployed I guess and just give a little demonstration of it all in action so I'll see you guys soon
Okie dokie, so we got down a bit of a rough landing there, um, wobbling a little bit because we're on a hill. So I may move us to a bit flatter just so we can um, be really stable. But yeah, there is a slight wobble. So if I uh, retract the legs, they should probably be stable now if I put them back down. Let's just try it. And let's get you guys back up. Get rid of that though. That's stable. Yeah, it's a bit wobbly. Anyway, it's pretty awesome. So now if I take off the brakes, we can actually do some driving. Oh, I love Juno. This thing handles so well. And yeah, I kind of got quite close to <laughs> me and Kira's home over there. I'm not going to visit it with this today because this is a, a long drive. I don't think we're too far away from the face on Juno either. Uh, this thing's very really manoeuvrable though. That's what I love Juno. It's just it's perfect for everything. It's got atmosphere. The driving's quite fast, as though it's not like really slow like on Minmus or the Moon. It's just perfect, and it looks beautiful. I absolutely love Juno. Just look at that mountain in the background. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just driving around. Do do do. So yeah, with the panels out and these, we don't actually use any power. But at night time, the RTGs are not enough to power it. But we've got a lot of power, so it can go really far before taking brakes. And obviously if I just let go of the accelerator, it will recharge easily. I'm just trying to get a bit flatter land. It looks flat here, but I don't know. Either way, this thing cruises pretty good. Whatever this will do, we'll stop here. Whoa. Dunk. Actually, put the brakes on. And let's get back on the legs. Yeah, we're <laughs> it's even more of a slope than we were on. Should be alright, though. But yeah, I had to add something at the bottom here. Because otherwise they were really wobbly. I did have some little cool, um, you know, like the cylinder adapters, like a little dome, um, but they broke really easy. I had to do a few different tests on curbing, landing, and most things exploded, so I went with the little struts, and they're pretty strong. So there we go, Jake, that is your mobile research lab base thingamajig. I thought that weren't a door then for a sec. Yeah, I did put one on, but it's blended in, that's good. But that one isn't, so I must have put that one inwards a bit. Uh, I hope it isn't blocked. If I hit two, it should get ladders, yeah. They're a bit higher, but if I release this, um, they're actually low, quite low. I'll just do it again quickly, it don't take two seconds to raise and lower. But yeah, it's within jumping distance on curbing, so... But on Juno you can actually RCS anyway. Uh, jetpack, whatever. So there you go Jake, that is your part down. What I did was... I have a little plan. I started to the orbit here. And I put the, the end trajectory just on the tip of this. So we should roughly land around this area. Which is good, I'll just build up this area. I wanted to land quite near me and mining Kira's little house. So we could, yeah, visit. I can visit myself with you guys and take Kira on romantic walks. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the face on June is pretty close to us too. I know it's up in one of these spots somewhere. I haven't been there for ages though, so I'm, I think it's in here. In fact, it is in there. Yeah, it's in here. The face on June is in here. I think it's in there. And I know it's one of these little coves here. So yeah, it's not too far away either. We can go and visit that. So there you go, Jake and Mr. God's Villa. Um, I did put you in here because I did add a interplanetary tutorial into this video but before I filmed the actual travel from Kerbin to here um, 
yeah, I realised my intro for the video with that would be about 10-12 minutes of talking before we did anything, so I'll have to do that next episode. Uh, I'll keep it brief, but there's also a mod that will help you with interplanetary transfer, by the way. I haven't got it installed in this because I kind of know where I need to burn. But yeah, I really like this little thing. Um, I was thinking about keeping a little fuel tank cylinder with some like radially attached engines so we could actually fly around but now we're good to go with this it's cool at night as well when you turn them on but turn these lights off on the rovers I'll leave them attached for now but yeah let's have a quick look at it at night time even though you've seen it on the uh, in space but there you go, it looks pretty sweet. So yeah, once again, I hope you like it, Jake. I actually planned to go to bed a few hours ago, but then I saw you wanted something, and then I built it, and I got all excited, so I had to send it over. And I said I was going to launch two things, but I'm actually just going to keep this episode quite short and sweet. Next episode, though, I'll launch two things, and then every episode from then, I'll do a double double deployment but for now I want to go to bed but I'm actually going to render this and upload it so you guys have got something to watch I'll try and be a bit more regular as well with my uploads I just need to get that war video finished because that's kind of annoying me but yeah look we've got a little clearance there on the wheels but yeah anyone else if you want something um, custom built like this just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best if it, if I like the idea and I start building it and I get some good ideas like I did for this then yeah I'll go with it and also if you build anything and you want me to send it up feel free to uh, tell me and you can send it to me either Skype or through email or anything I don't mind taking user submitted ships like I did with Aragon Yeah, I love Juna. <laughs> I've kind of run out of things to say. Other than we're going to make a nice base around this area. And it'll be sweet. Where is my hut gone again? Oh, there. I just want to see how far it is actually like zoomed out. Oh, yeah, we're on this hill here. That's not actually that far. I could drive that with four times physics warp on and probably blow up this but actually I am going to quickly just do something because she wanted to be in the video so I'm just going to say hello to Kira <laughs> she's been a bit stressy the last few days we had some arguments and she was mean I can actually take this actually, we can fly and bring it closer if we wanted to but nah I need to put the lights on so Kira you're gonna get out get off your fat ass she's not really fat by the way oh god you're stuck come on Kira you're not very good with a jetpack oh you let it You've been eating too many fires, you can't get off the ground. She'll kill me for saying that. Alright. In you go to put the lights on and cook me my dinner. Alright, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'll try to be more regular, maybe every other day, or depends what I've got to build and stuff. But yeah, I'll be a lot more motivated for this because I love Juno and um, feel free to suggest a mobile space plane carrier because yeah I would like a mobile like a um, you know like the aircraft carriers in the sea but we have one on land that'd be cool with like the runway and maybe two or three little fighters on there that'd be pretty cool I'll get the boat parts mod but make it for actually I can use yeah 
don't worry, I can use something else to do it. And it'll be pretty sweet. Okay, so, as usual, I've said bye a hundred times before I go. But, yeah. Catch you next episode. Wee. <laughs> Wee. I'm so cool, aren't I? Darkness. Alright, bye.